Hello all, Cheryl here at Nature Within. Yes, yeah, where I'm a Reiki master and I do uh, energy treatments, shamanic, uh, angelic treatments as well, and along with, uh, yes, uh, deep tissue and relaxing massage. Mm -hmm. I also make, uh, personally make my own uh, skincare products. Yes, which I use for my own massage lotion and my facial creams, hand sanitizer, which is actually my aura spray. Yeah, it cleanses my aura as well and for others. Yes, and I do sell them. Mm -hmm. And when I do uh, make my products, I actually pray over them and send in the healing energy. Yeah, and say a prayer. Yes. So today is TGIF. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. We're in our red. Yeah, I got a little bit of red on. <laughs> I made these, uh, yeah, these earrings a little while ago. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, with TGIF, thank God it's Friday. And uh, yeah, the sign behind me, yes, is also red. Is uh, we wear red because uh, R-E-D, remember everyone deployed. Yes, we remember all of our troops that served all over the world. Yeah, we truly love you. And that's why I like to uh, give respect uh, to you all on Friday. And uh, yes, I include a healing modality so it can help you heal because you have been through quite a bit of trauma along with uh, a lot of other of us people out there. So yeah, it's for the troops and all of you. Yeah, when I make this uh, TGIF uh, video on Fridays. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, we truly uh, send out, when I say we, that's our creator God and all, and our angels and animal spirit guides and so on, we send out this healing energy of love, peace, and harmony to you all. And healing, yes, if I didn't uh, forget to say that, yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, the healing modality today is going to be about love. Yeah, love. Love is uh, one of the most powerful healing modalities we can actually do. Remember that. Uh, yes, and uh, it, um, it helps. Uh, the love is actually coming, uh, is powerful through our emotions. And it actually makes our physical body vibrate at the very highest levels. Yeah. And there is hertz. These are uh, tones of, uh, of uh, sounds that are very healing for the heart. Uh, 528 hertz is very powerful, which will help with our heart center. And uh, 639 is another one, along with 432. Yeah, so these uh, levels and tones are very healing. Yeah, for our heart. Yes. And uh, we can experience, uh, yes, the most powerful love energy when we are amazed or we are astounded with nature. Uh, we are touched uh, with by Creator God, uh, Jesus, upper powers, universal energies, whatever you believe in. That is very powerful for the heart as well. Uh, when we, uh, you know, look at our children or with our children, it's very loving. Uh, with our partner with the animals, creatures out in nature, or even our pets. Yeah, also it does that. We can also experience the love by saying it. Saying the word love. I love this. Lo or even just love five times. Love, love, love. Say that every morning when you wake up. It's very powerful. And love will be surrounded around us. Yes. It'll even bring in more love. Yes, when we use that word love. Yeah, it's very powerful. <laughs> the tone, it's got a uh, very high, uh, high vibrational level, for sure. Uh, loving things could be music. It could be memories, uh, romantic love, physical actions in doing things for people is very loving, including ourselves. So, yes, 
Uh, this is actually, they say, it's true, the number one thing, it took me years to figure this one out, <laughs> is uh, loving ourselves. Yes, let us remember to love ourselves. And uh, that is, uh, you know, appreciating the things we do and the things that we don't do. <laughs> uh, or admiring, you know, the things that we did do well, you know. You say that to yourself going, I loved it when you said that. I loved it when you did this or, you know, uh, love yourself. Yes. And loving yourself is actually saying no to people or saying no to situations. That's loving yourself, honoring yourself. That's for sure. Also giving, giving to others, sharing, listening. I got to work on that one more. <laughs> listening is very accepting and uh, it's very uh, loving to do a lot of these actions. Yes, and our love originates from our heart. Yes, our heart center. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, with the heart, uh, we were when we are in this loving state, uh, a loving state, we will attract more loving situations and more uh, loving people. So yes, uh, practice that more instead of all this worrying about the future and whatnot that is going to be happening yes yeah so uh another thing is uh that our heart chakra is also it's a it's called the heart chakra that's an energy center in our body we have seven main energy centers in our body and the heart center yeah is one of those energy centers yes and the color of this energy center is uh pink or green yeah, so a lot of us will wear gemstones of uh, pink is uh, rose quartz we'd like to wear or you can wear green uh, yes for your heart center to work on your heart center and put these stones on your heart it's very powerful the green one is called uh, green aventurine yeah green aventurine and uh, it is very healing when we're doing healing work on people or on, on yourself. Yes, use these uh, gemstones or even just wearing clothes like that. Yeah, rose uh, colored, you know, pink colored clothes. <laughs> a pink shirt or a green shirt, you know, it's very healing on the heart. Mm -hmm. I even eat things too. I find that uh, eating, you know, a nice green apple uh, you know, green grapes, yeah, for your heart center, or pink, yeah, anything uh, pink as well is very uh, good. Before I forget, uh, this is really interesting, I just seen this today, which, <laughs> which was ironic, um, I'm going to have to share the lady's name when I find it again, as I seen her on YouTube, uh, YouTube, and she was sharing with us, there's not just five languages of love. There's six. So what they mean by the six languages of love is uh, there is different ways we can, uh, what we would like. Like some people like this and some people like that. We're not all the same. So here are the six and you will find out which ones you like. And if you are with a partner, please share with them what one, two, three, four, five, or six of your love languages are. I can hear a little kitty cat in the background. Love. I'll see you soon there, lovey-dovey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the six love languages. First one is word. Well, you want to come in one moment. We got to let the baby in. Come on in. Come on in. Hi, baby. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Come on up. Go up there, baby. Get up there. Yeah, go up there. It's okay. Okay, we got the kitty cat speaking about love. Come on in. I love you. I love you. Nice little kitty cat. So loving. A very loving cat. They are healing. They do. And they, when they give us love. Okay, so the six, you can jump up. Jump, jump. It's okay. The six uh, languages of love is the first one is words of affirmations. So by hearing someone saying, I love you, or you, you know, you, you do such a great job or, uh, you know, complimenting words of affirmations is one. 
And then quality time is another type of love that people like. I like that one too, for sure. Quality life, uh, quality time. Spending quality time together. There you go, baby. Yeah, whether it's with your pets or it's with your uh, children or your love partner and whatnot. Yes. Number three is physical touch. Yeah, a lot of us like being touched. I like being hugged. I like being kissed, nuzzled. And I, oh, and I definitely love being massaged. Definitely love being massaged. That's physical touch too. Very loving for me, especially if you got nice, strong hands. I like to give a good massage that way as well. Or some people like it gentle. Another act of, uh, yes, uh, love language is acts of service. So you can do acts of service where you're actually doing things, you know, like mowing someone's lawn for them, making them something to eat, many things. Yes, uh, giving them a hug and that's acts of service too. Uh, gift giving, some people like gifts. That's kind of nice. It's not definitely not one of my uh, top of the, uh, yeah, top of the, <laughs> the list ones of the six, but yeah, gift giving is number five. And six is feeling the unknown, feeling the unknown. And that could be meant in a few different ways. So anyways, I'm going to close this. Yeah, a little bit of, yeah, in the background. And so anyways, if you can all be love and also learn to receive love as well. Yeah, which is giving and receiving. Let us remember that. Yeah. And so keep love and nature within.